Diamond with the basketball. Kissinger with a three, and she got it. Plenty of excitement in Husker Nation this season, and perhaps not many people outside of Lincoln predicted this drastic turnaround we've seen, but the woman leading the charge for the Huskers is head coach Amy Williams, who joins us now to chat a bit more about what Nebraska's been doing to shock college basketball this season. Coach, this is your second year at the helm for the Huskers. In year one, just seven wins. Now with one week left in the regular season, you're a win away from a 21 season. Did you envision the rebuild going this well and so fast? Well, we certainly didn't uh, have any kind of expectations on a uh, 20-win season right uh, right after last year, but uh, I felt like this team really worked hard in the offseason. They were making a commitment to buying into the process, and uh, we liked the direction we were heading, and, and, and it's, it's worked out pretty well for us. Can you pinpoint maybe a particular moment or play from this year that really just represents just what you guys have been trying to do this season? You know, I think that there were a couple of early road wins that just helped us kind of get over um, that hurdle. And I think, you know, when we were at Kansas and we were down and things were not going particularly well and we came out in the second half and just had a great team defensive effort in that second half. And uh, Hannah Whitish had a special offensive performance in the second half of that game and led us to uh, our first true road win since, um, since I've been the coach at Nebraska. And I think that kind of gave us um, some confidence moving forward. To, Forward, got us over that hurdle um, and then a tough road win at Drake in double overtime um, that I think just really kind of solidified some things for us that we can do this and, and we can beat some good teams um, on the road and, and that has helped in our confidence. Now you played at Nebraska yourself uh, during your college career so now as the coach is there a tradition that maybe even the fans don't know about that you um, have passed down to your current players? Yeah, there is um, a, a tradition that we used to do when I was a player here, and it's uh, you know it's something that we kind of enjoyed. Some of my greatest memories came, and uh, basically we assign um, one player to home games for fire up, and they're responsible kind of for coming up with something before the game to to get the team fired up. It might be a skit, it might be a um, a video that they've prepared, it might be you know a poem that they're reading. You know, just they're they're very creative, and it's something that. Uh, when when my former teammates and I got together um, at alumni, we talked a lot about those fire ups and the memories that, that we had from those and, and uh, that's something we continue today. What's the best one you've gotten so far? Oh man, uh, we had a little soul train line going uh, a couple weeks ago, so we got to show off some of our skills, or, or in my case, maybe lack thereof um, <laughs> dancing skills, so that was, that was pretty fun. Well, you still got a week left in the regular season, you can still work on the dancing skills, right? <laughs> well, if you ask my husband, he'd say it, it's a lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, we appreciate the time. Good luck the rest of the season, too. Thanks so much.